Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is about uh, classroom work uh, during basic training. Um, this stuff doesn't really get, go over much. Uh, there's not really a lot of videos on it because it's kind of skipped. Uh, most people think basic training is like all like the out in the field and like drill and stuff like that. So I decided I'd make a little video on it. Uh, as per one of their viewers' uh, comment suggestions. Um, as you know, we go through all the comments, we read all the comments, we try to respond to every single one of them, and uh, if you have a video suggestion that we think is good, which the majority of them are, we turn them into a video. So before I get any further into this video, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, new videos coming out, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, basic training um, classroom work. So while you're at basic training, majority of your time will be spent in the classroom. Um, they do this because there's a lot of information to go over as well as there's a lot of things that you need to learn. Uh, you can't just show up at basic training and do drill and field exercises and know what the military is about. There's a lot of stuff that has to be done. For me, back in 2019 when I did my basic training, um, majority of it was classroom. So it would be uh, four to five classes a day in the classroom, and then drill, or PT, or field exercises, or weapons, or something like that. The majority of the time we spent in a classroom. I'm gonna put that into perspective. Uh, if any of you have seen basic, uh, or any of the basic training videos like Drew Duty Valor, or stuff like that, uh, basic up, you'll see that they have a classroom, more like an auditorium, where they have rows going up, and then everyone looks over each other, um, there are those classrooms. There's also classrooms where it's uh, a room with, with desks that you all sit at. Um, we split up our time evenly between those, just whatever rooms were booked. And uh, yeah, um, so when you go, I'm not going to show you the front, but you get a textbook. Pretty thick textbook. And this is your classroom stuff that you'll go over and you'll do tests and you'll write, um, you'll write, uh, do homework assignments using this textbook. So some of the stuff in the textbook, I'm going to read it right from the table of contents because I can't remember everything we learned. It's, it, was, it was a while ago for me. So some of the stuff, communication, defense structure, dress, ethos, field training, finance, general knowledge, health promotion, leadership, military planning, operations, radio procedures, order and discipline, personal resources, ranks, orders, declarations and medals, security, time management, training, topo, so like maps, uh, C7, uh, your, your rifle, um, and then they got references and notes and stuff like that. So that's what is going to be in the textbook and you will learn every single thing on this. It will be split off into a bunch of different subcategories and so on and so on, but everything in this textbook you will learn and you'll need to learn well because a lot of the stuff they break it off into actual tests and you need to pass those tests in order to continue. Um, it's one of those things if you weren't very good in school, you didn't like studying, you can get by. Um, if you pay attention in the class, you should get by fine. If you write notes, you'll you'll get by fine. You don't need to go through and read this entire freaking thing to succeed. I mean, if you want to, and uh, you really think that is something, that's that's how you study, um, definitely go and do it. Um, but yeah, as I, as I said, it's a pretty thick book. This is the best way I can show you kind of classroom work. Um, um, yeah, it's classroom can be most painful. A lot of it's death by PowerPoint. And if you guys don't know what that means, means you're sitting in front or you're sitting in a room and the instructor is teaching you via PowerPoint. And it's very long, it's very tedious, it gets tiring very fast. And it's something that uh, you gotta adapt to because throughout your career, you'll be doing a lot by death by PowerPoint. Um, they can't teach you, these types of, of learning is probably the best for most people. That's why they do it. I learned by hands-on, so I learned most of my stuff hands-on doing it, the actual thing versus classroom. But this is the best way that they can give out this much information in such a short period of time. Um, if you guys remember your high school or whatever, 
you get a textbook like this for one subject. One subject and you get a textbook like this. You have, you have 20, 20 different subjects that you gotta learn in two and a half weeks. It might be less now. 20 different subjects that you need to learn. So a lot of it's classroom and a lot of it's learning. It's, it's long, it's tedious, it does suck. Um, so what does classroom normally look like? From what I remember, what I recall, and when I went through it, and my platoon and my experience, what we would do, we'd go into our classroom at time, five minutes prior to the time, sit down, get our desks. Every desk had to be in the same orientation. Name plates are out, water bottles on one side, or canteens on one side, pens on one side, military stuff, just to make sure that you guys are following the rules and make sure you're able to obey and listen to orders as per given. Sit down, we wait, all chatting, having a good time, you know, and then Mass Corporal or Mass Sailor or Petty Officer or Sergeant or Warrant or PO2, PO1, whatever, would come in, y'all room or group, y'all stand at kind of seating attention in your chairs They'd come over, you'd all be still facing the front. They would come to the front, get down, they'd say, relax, and you relax, and then he'd start his presentation. Normally, how he'd, he would go to the uh, the core senior and be like, core senior, he, the core senior would say, platoon number, how many people are here, how many people are missing, what are, uh, where are those missing people, and that we're ready for class, ready for instruction, whatever. That's kind of the job as the core senior, for most part. Um, and then you start doing your class based off whatever topic. Now, they do have, most places have a sheet, your weekly schedule pinned up on a bulletin board somewhere so you can go through and see what classes that you're actually doing, as well as what your timings are. They have that. Course Senior's also given one of those. Um, so it's very good for you to write that down so you know what you're doing, maybe study uh, the night before if you have time on uh, what you're doing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to run through every single one of these topics in this book, but it's definitely good to learn and good to know. They teach you everything from the like this defense structure of the cat, like ranks, all that, who's in charge of who, morale, field training stuff, um, how to conduct yourself in the field, um, stuff like that, morale, ethos. Um, this is an old book, so there's a lot of things that probably have changed in it on regard to ethos and stuff like that. But throughout your military career, you will be doing training like this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever because stuff's always changing. But this is your textbook, and yeah. If you have any more questions on what classroom stuff's like, best I can explain to you, it's like a your history class or an English class in high school. That's probably the best way I can I can describe it. It's not math, so you're not doing math stuff. Unless, once you get into topo and, or field mapping and navigation and radios, that's more math stuff, but it's very simple math. Um, but once you get into, the majority of it's all history and learning and like an English class where you're learning all these different things. Um, it's not very hard. Just make sure to study, make sure to pay attention in class. If you feel like you are getting tired, stand up, go to the back of the class. Instructor won't say anything. Stand up, go to the back of the class. Just stand there. Don't lean up against the wall. Just stand there, write notes, pay attention. If you have to, go do jumping jacks. If the instructor sees you falling asleep, tell you to get up, go to the back of the class and start doing push-ups. And then if you get caught doing it over and over again, you can get uh, uh, swiped, if you guys know what that is, then, uh, yeah, you'll learn that when you're at basic training. Not fun, not cool, but definitely uh, something to consider. What I can say about classroom stuff is the majority of the time when you're at basic training, you're sitting in a class. You're not in the field all the time, and the classroom stuff is what you need to know. Basic training is to teach you about the military and about how it runs and about how to be and act accordingly. And then they throw in the field exercises and basic stuff for basic survival. If they need you to go to combat, They'll either throw you out there with a rifle and you'll be able to do okay. It's pretty much what they're 
gear gearing up for. Once you get into your specialty training or your actual trade that you're going to, that's when you actually start focusing more on your side of the military and your side of the trade. Basic training classroom is pretty much teaching you the basics about the military structure, how the military works, how to do certain things a little bit. So I hope that video was uh, informative for you all and uh, talked to you a little bit more about the basic training classroom. If you have any questions about it, don't please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below or send us a message on uh, Duncan underscore days underscore IG. I respond there. Uh, I can say more freely on there uh, certain things. So uh, definitely check us out there. Give us a follow. Give us a like. Give us a uh, subscribe for the, to the channel. Maybe click that notification button that I just found out existed a few days ago. Um, stay up to date with all our new and uh, new content coming out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for this uh, this uh, video suggestion. Um, the video suggestions really help us out to know what you guys want to see. Our last video is doing really well. I guess everyone, really, a lot of people really want to know about that topic. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.